What's good guys and welcome to the daily market analysis here at Elementary FX. It is Wednesday the 19th of April and for today we'll be looking at two different pairs. We'll be looking at the USD franc and the Euro USD. And uh, to kick things off, let's have a look at the USD franc on the 4 hour chart. For today's analysis, uh, I figured I was going to do something different on this pair, the USD franc, instead of our conventional EPD uh, SFR process that we teach here at Elementary FX. Uh, on this on this trade which I took, as you can see, I'm about 10 pips up. Uh, on this trade, I figured I was going to use a bit of volume analysis uh, combined with uh, some structure and maybe some Fibonacci analysis. So uh, let's get to the charts. As you can see, uh, USD franc has been bearish recently. This can be established by drawing this line. We price made a push downwards, made a retracement and made a lower low. Therefore, this can be confirmed as a downtrend in the short term. So the reason why I entered a short entry here was because firstly, we had we established a trend that it was uh, bearish. So therefore, the trend is your friend and you always want to be on the side of the trend. Next was where I used uh, my volume analysis. If I were to zoom it in, let me just go closer for you. As you can see here, is it, is it clear? All right, as you can see, price made price made this move downwards. Um, price made this move downwards. Uh, going past this low right here. Uh, therefore confirming that it's downtrend. However, as you can see, it made a slight retracement. Uh, two bullish bars on the four hour chart. Let's just have a look at this bar. Um, we have a bullish bar right here, with uh, this amount of volume. However, in the next bar, we have a very nice doji candle. This bar right here, we have a doji candle. However, it has more volume than the previous bar. So, so shouldn't this suggest that with more volume, this bar should be like, it should be more bullish than the previous candle. And therefore, that gave me the, my, my, sell, my sell signal for, for a short entry. I had my uh, sell stop here. And uh, as you can see, the next candle just blew right past it giving me about 10 pips in profit currently. Um, my targets will be right down here at this uh, point of structure. Let me just switch off my magnet. We have a nice uh, structure area right here. I think I'll set it below. I, I haven't uh, really um, figured out the the target and stop, stops. I've already figured out to have it here where we have a uh, support, support, so it makes sense to have my stops above the support. However, if uh, the trade goes well, I would probably let this run all the way to wherever it goes and probably trail my stops. So this was the volume analysis behind this trade that I took about 10 minutes ago. Mm, very simple. Um, bullish candle, bullish volume, bull bigger volume than the previous uh, volume. And it, However, this, uh, this candle right here does not suggest that we are in uh, this candle was was going to be very bullish so this was the analysis behind it and i'll keep you guys updated in the next episode of the trading journal so the next trade we want to look at the next trading opportunity that we want to look at will be the euro usd on the four hour chart and as you can see price has uh, done this made a retracement up here and so we are in this area right here now I'm looking for a short entry in this area and uh, this would be a this would be our conventional EPD SFR process and for the sake of this video I'll just go through the SFR process. Um, we have structure right here. We have a structure right here as you can see price has acted as a, this area has acted as support support if I were to scroll left we can see resistance right here. We can see a lot of uh, resistance resistance a lot of support also right here. So this would be a decent place for entry. And now that we have, now that we have uh, figured our structure out, we look for Fibonacci confluence. So if I were to use a Fibonacci retracement of this swing right here, swing high to swing low, because that is the most obvious swing we have, we will get a 50% retracement right at that level, right at our structure level, right there. So I'm looking for price to come up into this area and potentially reverse. However, 
as you can see price has already come up into that area but that's where RSI comes in in our SFR process S being structure F being Fibonacci and R being RSI if price can um, come up and for a higher high however it shows lower highs then I could potentially go for a short entry let's see if we have an extension right here uh, if we take if we take this swing low to swing high do we get an extension possibly a 1618 1618 coming very nicely with that level I don't think we have an ABCD move let's try it out ABCD nope just slightly short of that zone however we have built a very nice zone right here for a potential short entry um, you could possibly go down to the lower time frames the hourly the 30 minute for for a potential signal to sell depending on all your rules but my rules state that if price can push up past this area right here creating a lower high on the RSI suggesting weakness in this trend right here and we could potentially look for a short entry um, also one thing I want to talk about was yesterday I took a trade on the USD yen um, I got stopped out for about one pip so I, I didn't really think much about it and I, I don't think it's worth uh, reviewing on the trading journal because it's just one pip but uh, for the sake of education I probably will do it in the trading journal in the next episode if uh, this trade goes well so yep that has been the daily market analysis for today thank you guys for joining me and uh just one more thing i want to let you guys know if you guys are members of elementary fx as a junior member however you are not um you are not a part of our private trading group do check your member my my membership on the website and you can have you can look for the link that i will send you to our private trading group we have uh, we provide um, very nice discussions about trading setups or potential pattern completions and stuff like that. So if you're not a member, do sign up and um, I'll see you guys in the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys.